Hello, welcome. Welcome to my QBasic tutorial. To run many of the DOS application, it is difficult to run in Windows operating systems. For example, if you want to try Turbo C or QBasic, the DOS based application, many of the Windows operating system or 32 bit operating systems will not support 16 bit DOS application to execute. So, we can use an emulator for that one. So, the emulator we are using here is DOS Box. You can download this emulator from this website dosbox.com and there is a download link and you can download it. And it is a setup file, you can install it. So, we have different versions of DOS Box. It is for Windows and many other operating system. So whichever you want, you can, whichever is your operating system, according to that you can download it. So I am using Windows operating system, Win32 installer, I am downloading. So it is being downloaded and double click on the setup file and it will install into your system. So here I have installed into C colon slash program files slash DOS box hyphen or dot seven four. In this folder, I have DOS box. Now, if you don't have QBasic in your system, you can download QBasic from the website QBasic.net. www.QBasic.net and QBasic downloads are there. You can download QBasic 4.5. It's a small file. Click download and you can download it it will be in a compressed file format so you have to unzip the file and you can put it into some suitable folder qbasic for qbasic 4.5 it is installed in qb45 that's my folder and it is in the d drive now First of all, we have to execute DOS box. So this is DOS box. Here we have to mount it. Mount. This is a syntax for mounting DOS box. So we have to map some drive letter to the directory which we want to use the DOS application. So because it is Q basic, I am giving Q. Then the location. So our location is D colon slash QB45. So we got the message drive Q is mounted as local directory D colon slash QB45. So, Q is the folder. So, to switch into Q, we have to type, we have to type Q colon. So, now it is into Q. So, Q is a virtual drive in which we have the Q basic commands. So, to execute Q basic, the executable file is QB. So go to the DOS mode and type QB, Q basic, QB, and enter. So we got QB now. Q basic got executed. So it is working in a window, in a fixed window. So generally the graphic programs will not execute in the window mode. It will execute only in the full screen size mode. But here it is possible to run in the window mode with the help of DOS box emulator. So we will try a program. It's a program for graphics. So we can give some remarks. For all the graphic programs we need screen to be in slice. So we can use screen 7, one of the graphic modes. Then 30th line, I am going to draw a circle. 20, 25 that is the x and y axis of the circles 
midpoints and a circle with a radius 50. So that's all. I am going to end the program. To execute the program, we can go to run and start or F5. So the circle is ready, but only the partial portion of the circle is visible. So I think we can make the circle little small so that it will be displayed completely. Yeah. So it is done. So this way we can uh, run DOS application in Windows operating systems. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.